What's going on, y'all? Just finished up the workout. Two mile run. 12 minute to jump rope. 64 rounds of some leg strength training. I use some light weights, 15s. I ain't gonna lie, man. You do that, those 20 second rounds for four rounds, five rounds. And then you switch it up, keep the same tension and intensity. And just focus on um, the rep itself, each rep. Bro, I got the meanest pump in my legs. It is crazy. Anyways, the hardest part of starting your day and being productive is waking the fuck up. That's my hardest battle. My second hardest battle is going to sleep. So one is waking up. Two is going to bed. Now, how do I better prepare myself to wake up at three? That's a question I ask myself. How do I better prepare myself to go to bed and start shutting down my six? You know what I mean? Sometimes, I know me personally, I get hypnotized on my phone when I'm looking at internet and my brain just says, keep looking for information or keep scrolling down or, you know what I mean? And it's really easy to do that, especially when you're when you're uh, tired from the day and you just want to be in your own space. You know what I mean? But the best thing that I found to do is to go to bed. First of all, is to uh, take some sleepy time tea, like around two o'clock. So by the time six o'clock runs around, I'm already feeling tired. And then I put my phone and I leave it downstairs usually. And I keep it away from me and I try to do my best and read and just meditate. And yeah, my mind goes and runs wild and goes crazy or whatnot. But I, I have to be comfortable with my mind running wild. And it's just like disciplining your mind saying, no, you're not in charge. You know what I mean? It's our time to go to bed. So what I do is it sounds cheesy, sounds corny or whatever. But I just tell myself, hey, the ankles are relaxed. Knees are relaxed. Legs are relaxed, thighs are relaxed, and I keep repeating this affirmation over and over again. And then once I get to the top of my head, like my head's relaxed, I start counting down from 100, 99, 98, 97. And as I do this, by the time I even reach 50, or even if I hit zero, I'll start over again. But by usually, nine times out of 10, when I hit 50, 60, I'm out, out like a light. And, um, yeah, man, that's what's been working for me to go to bed. Now to go to, to wake up in the morning. I was off caffeine for a while, but first thing I do is I get up, take my piss, weigh in, write it down on a piece of paper. I ran downstairs since I like working out in the morning, take my pre-workout and then go on my jog. And then turn on my music, you know what I mean? Start vibing. It's not... Habits, hard habits are not designed to be easy. They're simple. They're just not easy. You got to find it within yourself to be 1% better than yesterday. Even like, even if you wake up a minute earlier than you did yesterday, you are that one more percent better. You know what I'm saying? You're 0.5%, 0.05% better than you were the day before. Now, tomorrow, then you have another challenge. But don't focus on tomorrow. Just write it down what time you want to wake up and tell yourself you're going to wake up at that time. And tell yourself you're going to go to bed at a respectable time as well. You know what I mean? Because it's a balance. You can't. I mean, you could, but you're just not going to last in the long run. You can't expect your body to wake up if you didn't give it the proper amount of rest. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect... Both worlds. You can't stay up late and go to bed or, and wake up early. Could for a while, but you're not going to last for a long time. Now, you got to get ready for work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay blessed. Stay grinding. And for my no fappers out there, I know you guys got a lot of energy. I know uh, the adrenal glands are... are, are excreted you know what i mean so you're, you're staying up later than usual that's just a, a a good sign for you to start doing that makes you feel uncomfortable so you could transmute your energy you know what i mean the more you start transmuting that energy meaning like 
Instead of focusing on being awake, focus on reading a book. Go on a run. Focus on things that you want to get done. Do your budget. Do something. Use that energy. That energy is there for you to be used, people. You know what I mean? Um, like my goal right now, five months, trying to lose 20 pounds. You know what I mean? But I'm not trying to lose um, too much weight, too fast. But I'm just giving myself five months to do that. You know what I mean? Five months, four pounds a month. Really reasonable. It's a pound a week. You know what I mean? Um, but make small inter intermittent goals. Make sure you transmute that energy. If you don't know what transmute means, go look it up. Definition. You know? Um, study more in your craft. This is your time to meditate and practice things that make you feel uncomfortable. Even if you don't like it, you got the energy to do it right now. Anyways, stay blessed.